Hey everyone, welcome to my story. After dealing with scoliosis and sometimes feeling bad because of it, I want to share what it's been like. Oh, <laughs> right, um, scoliosis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me explain that part, in case you don't know or could use some help. To quote the internet, Scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine that occurs most often during the growth spurt just before puberty. Scoliosis can be caused by conditions like cerebral palsy and muscular dystrophy. But the cause of most scoliosis is, dun dun dun, unknown or idiopathic, as the doctors call it. There are a few ways to treat it depending on how bad your curve is and how much worse it gets. One of the options is watchful waiting, which is just that, just waiting to see how things progress without intervention. Then there's bracing. It's kind of like this clamshell thingy that you wear for as many hours a day as your doctor says, usually 23 hours, until you grow a little more. Bracing is used as an external intervention that's used to try and steer your spine from the outside. It works for some people, and if it does work, you probably won't need surgery. But it didn't really work for me. If you're like me and bracing doesn't work, the next option would be surgery. Yeah, surgery is always scary and there are risks, but my parents did tons of research to find out which surgery would be best for me. While they were researching, there was one thing they found that was different than all the rest. It's called vertebral body tethering, and it's actually what they call a humanitarian device. They found a website called myscoliosis.com that taught us all about how the surgery works. They basically take these screws and screw them into the side of the spine, the outside of the curvy part, and then use this cord to pull the spine straight, bit by bit. Then lock it down. Boop, boop, boop. And that starts to straighten out the spine. Not every doctor does vertebral body tethering, so my mom went to the surgeon locator to find someone who did. Next thing I know, I was at my first post-op checkup with my new straighter spine. One of my favorite parts is that this one lets me keep growing and lets my spine stay flexible, unlike the other surgeries. Now, it didn't 100% fix my curve. My doctor says it doesn't need to be perfectly straight and that over time, as I grow, the cord will help straighten things out. He also said he's gonna keep watching my progress to make sure the cord doesn't overcorrect my curve or break. So yeah, um, everyone will have a different outcome after surgery, but my scoliosis is on its way to being straighter. And four weeks after my surgery, my doctor said I could go back to my regular activities. I'm back at school, back to spending time with my friends, and I'm back to being active again. So this is my story. Thanks for listening to it. If you have scoliosis like me, your parents can get more info at myscoliosis.com like my mom did. And when they find a doctor, they can ask if you'd be a good candidate for vertebral body tethering. Anyway, until next time, this is me signing off. Bye. <laughs>